So, oh, crash down, riders down at the back of the bunch and plenty of uh, riders tangled up there. And well, it's the first crash we've seen today, actually. It's been relatively benign. Not too many riders. We race down into Odenarda and those barriers causing all sorts of difficulties. Attempted a rider from the Phoenix to Coining squad out of the peloton. Gradients approaching 17% and indeed exceeding them. And most of the major names close to at the front, if not on the front. And up to 30 seconds. They've given her a little bit of rope. This is the first significant effort of the, or at least a, I won't say effort. They've been making efforts. They've all been making efforts to try and either stay in the group or to get off the front of it. More riders down in the main peloton. As I say, it was a fairly benign start to the day. Not too many crashes in this peloton, but plenty of riders inconvenienced by that one, including teammates of Wollaston. And for Wollaston, just hits the uh, Mullenberg with a little bit of extra impetus, carries that speed. Meanwhile, mayhem at the back. Want to find out how tough a bike race like this is? Well, that would not be a good time to ask April Tacey. Misty Works starting to command the head of affairs, the, the front of the peloton. Cicchini at the head. Technical challenge. It's a physical challenge. Maybe, just maybe, you'd like to be up front. 60k to go and I think this one looks like it might have legs and they make the junction with um, with Wollaston so everything that Wollaston want has now been delivered and DSM controlling but naturally enough not contributing to Leon Lippert oh no it's Van Vluten Van Vluten has hit the deck Van Vluten has hit the deck here and she's got a little bit of chasing to do because we're certainly on there to do long turns. Lotta Kopecky is on the front at the moment, of course, the reigning champion of this event. Again, all the climbs remaining, of which after this one, there are just two. Quaramont and the Paderberg coming in quick succession. The Lotta Kopecky is putting in, so one on one's better than one against four, or one against three as it was. And the crowd's absolutely massive at this point. Biggest day of the year for bike fans in this part of the world. Kopecky goes for glory, and she's really putting Persico under intense difficulty. She charges into the Quarlemont. Kopecky, the reigning champion, wants to ask a serious question. Wouldn't be afraid to go one-on-one -on -one with Sylvia Persico, but she's happy enough to race clear, and she's raced clear, and this is gonna, we certainly get the cheers of the local crowd as Sylvia Persico found herself floundering and scrabbling for traction. Marlon Royster disappeared into the distance, and this is the final climb of the day. The Paderberg beckons. Crowd still out in force for Lotta Kopecky, and uh, as we, I've said already, it's short, but it's certainly sharp, but uh, north of 20% at its most demanding. Never felt wanting throughout the day. The road has decided, and it's decided that the heroine of Belgium is Lotte Kopecky, and Tour of Flanders is gonna be claimed by one of their own for a success, a second successive year. They wind up for the gallop behind, but it's the gallop for minor positions. The podium to come. And top step will go to the 27-year-old from Rumst near Antwerp in Flanders. Victory in Tour of Flanders for a second successive year. Goes to Esti Works. And to Lotte Kopecky, who at last, for the first time in 156 kilometers, can raise her arms in delight and celebrate the win. Longo Borghini is going to try and hold off Vollering. Persico is going to come with the run on the line, but it's going to be a 1-2, and why not celebrate that one? 1-2 for SD Works, Vollering gets second. Reversing the finishing order of Strada Bianchi. Already, Kopecky is celebrating.